Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is so good to be back. I am back from my trip where I visited eight countries and 49 destinations and it was amazing. If you haven't seen them already, please be sure to check out my vlogs from each of the countries I visited. They just show how absolutely amazing they are and will definitely make you want to go there. So in this video I am going to talk about my travel essentials. Now a lot of the YouTube videos that you see where people talk about travel essentials, it is things like clothes, uh, makeup, uh, types of skincare products, straighteners, stuff like that. Absolutely not. I only had a 60 litre backpack for the three months that we were away, so I will be talking about the absolute essentials that I could not have lived without on my trip. I did not take any straighteners with me, I didn't take much makeup, I didn't take much skincare or hair care or anything like that, so it's going to be the bare necessities. I just referenced Jungle Book, didn't I? So it's going to be the bare essentials of my trip. Now if you follow me on social media you'd have seen that I actually got mugged whilst I was travelling. I got my bag snatched off me when I was in Cambodia. So my first essential is a bum bag. Now I've got two different types of bum bags that I took with me. Uh, the first one I got from eBay for literally like a couple of quid and it's this rather bright pink one here. So basically this is one that sits close to your body. So it goes underneath your clothes and you put all your bits and pieces in it uh, so that nobody can see that you've got valuables on you. So if you can see it's really thin and it's got three different compartments, you can put your phone, your money, your cards, whatever in there. It's quite spacious. I didn't use this one huge amounts, I only used it when we were going to places that were quite busy so that I could know that it was safe underneath my clothes. When I wasn't using this one, I was using my other bum bag which is this one. I didn't actually take this one on the trip with me. I bought it whilst I was out there because the bag I took with me was the one that I got snatched. So this one came in very, very handy. It sits above your clothing and goes around your back with a buckle, like that. But this buckle kind of sits on your side, so it's really useful because you know that no one can just unclip it and pull it off. Now this one in particular has got so many pockets so it came in really handy while I was away. I had loads of stuff in it. My two next essentials are very important to me and they remain close to my heart and I will never forget them for the rest of my life. They are the two items that allowed me to sleep on the coach every day whilst we were touring. And they are these, my sleep mask and my pillow. So my sleep mask I bought from the airport in Sydney and it says hashtag see the world but I have seen some awesome ones in places like Primark and Accessorize. So this pillow I also bought at the airport as well and it is amazing, it's not just any pillow and I will show you why. is why. So it goes from a normal pillow to a neck pillow by just unzipping it and pushing the beads through. So you can have the perfect night's sleep anywhere. These are also available for just a couple of quid on places like eBay and Amazon as well. 
definitely worth the money. So the next item is an essential for anywhere you go in the world really and you won't just use it once, you'll use it wherever you go. And it is this world travel plug which comes with two USB slots just here and then if you take those off you can just plug in to the normal plug there and it's for any country in the world so you just slide these bits forward and depending on which country you're in they've got every adapter you can imagine possible so yeah this gadget came in so handy for us because we were visiting eight different countries so we were able to just take this one with us rather than eight different travel adapters I bought this off eBay I am an eBay lover clearly for five pounds and we bought two of them but we gave one away to another one of our friends whilst we were traveling who didn't have one but it's well worth having two if there's two of you because we did find ourselves fighting over them to charge our phone and plug in whatever else we needed to plug in okay so I did have to take some beauty products with me and one of my travel essentials was this Umberto Giannini spoil me hair oil I was in and out of the sea and in and out of pools and in the sun every single day of the trip so my hair got so dry and brittle so whenever it got a little bit dry I would just put a little bit of this oil on it and it just brought it back to life it gave it a little bit more oomph when it was looking a bit sad this is available from any Boots or Superdrug store and it's under £10 and it is amazing. It just gives your hair that soft, nourished look that we all want to have and you definitely don't have when you're travelling. The next item on my list is Paw Paw and if you live in Australia you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I've gone through three tubes of Paw Paw since I was travelling and I only have one left. This is my Paw Paw Lip Balm, which is amazing, especially if you get sunburnt lips. But we also had two tubes of Paw Paw, which can be applied to anywhere, and it's used mainly for mosquito bites. And I got bitten by a load of bed bugs in Vietnam and applied Paw Paw to all of my bites, which immediately stopped itching. So I highly recommend it to anyone that's going to countries where you might get bitten. I also recommend the lip balm to people who are going to hot countries and might burn their lips. Next up is a bit of a weird and wonderful essential that I had never seen before I went travelling. So as you probably know, you can't drink the tap water in a lot of foreign countries, so you find yourself constantly lugging around bottles of water. Now I didn't have any space for anything in my backpack so I was carrying the water bottles in my hand which eventually took its toll. Then in Vietnam we visited a market and we found these water bottle holders which are all handmade. So for £2 in the market we bought this one. It just sits over your shoulder like this and then you can just put your water bottle inside it and carry it round without having to hold it. Now my next travel essential is more for backpackers rather than people who are taking big suitcases. In a big suitcase you can normally fit a normal bath towel, however backpackers or even people who are just taking hand luggage often have to scrimp on space and this next item can be folded down to a very small size to save space in your bag and it is a microfiber towel. So this is my microfiber towel that I took travelling with me. It folds down to a very small size which I'm going to show you now. So there it is, all folded down. Now obviously you could do a better job than I did at folding it down, I made a bit of a mess of it but you can see it's very small and much smaller than a normal towel. It also dries so, so quickly. So it does dry you very well, the same as a normal towel, but if you were to hang it up, it would dry in an hour or so, so that you can then pack it back into your bag. It was literally a lifesaver on this trip, because we didn't spend more than a couple of nights in a single place, so having to dry it very quickly was essential to us. Similarly to my microfiber towel, the next item is another item that folds down very small purely for space saving purposes. 
I only had a very small backpack with me for my three months and most of it was taken up by winter clothes so I didn't have much space for anything else. So this essential is my packable waterproof trousers. Obviously in the hot countries we didn't need these trousers. We probably could have used them in Asia where they had their torrential rain but it was so hot that you just didn't want to put any extra layers on anyway. But when we arrived to New Zealand, it was slightly more cold and it was a bit more rainy as well, so we did need them then, but we didn't want to waste the space in our backpacks when we were in the hot countries. So we got packable trousers. They sit neatly in these teeny tiny bags and you just undo them and out they come. And there we are. These are Peter Storm and they're called Storm Shield. So they are quite expensive, they're about £25, but they're a really, really good material and they are fully waterproof and they're windproof as well, so they keep you nice and warm in that windy weather. And finally, on my essentials list was the only skin product I took with me and that was this Arbon Intelligence Nourishing Facial Oil. I did take baby wipes with me to take my makeup off, but then I used this nourishing facial oil to moisturise. My skin got so, so dry, again for similar reasons as my hair, but I just needed a little bit of extra moisture just to replenish my skin after I've been in the sea, or been in the pool, or been in the sun all day. So, Arbonne Intelligence Nourishing Facial Oil to the rescue. This stuff is amazing. It comes with a tiny little pipette, and you literally put two drops on a cotton pad, and it completely moisturises your entire face. I will pop the link below for where you can buy this product, but I definitely recommend it for when you're going travelling. And that concludes the end of my essentials list. If you have any questions about any of the products I've mentioned in this video, please drop a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It is lovely to be back. Please drop a comment below for any videos that you'd like to see on my channel and head over to my website www.alittlebitoflotty.co.uk to see my recent blog posts on my travelling adventures. Mwah! See you soon!